but like I'm still healing. Yeah. <laughs> it sound like hot pocket. <laughs> Slapping. Do you know what that does for your confidence? It's not till 2.30. So I'm gonna clean up, put myself together, and then um, I think I'm gonna take the call here. Probably it's just like downstairs. It's a uh, Google Meets, so I'll be on camera, which means I need to put myself together. that I never even told y'all what this call is about. So this is the onboarding call for Best Buy Creators Program. Um, I have been selected as one of the creators, which means I will be creating content for Best Buy. Um, Best Buy has been on my vision board for years. Like, so this is an answered prayer, like a dream, a dream brand. So I remember also telling my husband I wanted a pair of Meta Ray-Ban sunglasses recently because I saw them at the Target at the Target. I saw them at Target and decided to try them out. And I was like, these are so cool. These are perfect for creators. And then here I am about to create content for Best Buy about these Meta Ray-Ban sunglasses. Y'all, your words, the things that you believe and dream, the words that come out of your mouth, they are so powerful. Um, you could really be speaking your future into existence or you could be, you know, tearing your future self down. So choose your words wisely. But anyway, the call went well. Um, it was just an onboarding call just to like break down like program expectations and, you know, processes and stuff like that. But I am so looking forward to it. Don't worry. I will be sharing all of the tech gadgets that I get. I will be sharing them over here on YouTube as well. sound like hot pot. That's funny. time to record because I need to find something to wear and I need to eat my breakfast. I got a pancake on a stick and it's slapping. We are recording on both devices. <laughs> Who do I think I am? Lord. Okay, so this top keeps sliding down. So I'm going to see if I can hook that to my... See, this top ain't going to work. What if I stick it right there? I need a light. Okay, so I just recorded, just recorded my video for my one video. I'm trying to like pump myself up to record another one. The other video that I'm planning on recording today, I do not want to record. Oh, 
it's a video about the worst campaign experience I have ever had in my life. I decided I was going to tell the story about it. But, like, I'm still healing. <laughs> I'm still healing from that experience. And so, I don't know if I really want to, like, pull that band-aid off yet. Because, child, I still got PTSD behind the damn campaign. Long story short, it was the biggest campaign I had ever gotten before. When I say big, I mean, like, five figures big. And it's exactly what I need to, like, check off some goals that I've been having for myself. And not only is it exactly what I need, but I pray for it. Like, I asked God for a specific dollar amount, and he sent it in this brand deal. And so, the brand deal was UGC, which means I don't have to post it, which is so good. I love that I don't have to post things. Um, that means you can still make money without posting every single day. But... And it was also from like a huge brand. And so I was super excited about doing it. And not to mention it was for photography. And if you know me, then you know photography, that comes really easy to me because I have a whole photography business. So I just knew that this was gonna be the biggest, funnest, easiest brand deal of my life. And when I tell you, wasn't nothing fun about it. It was not fun or easy at all. <laughs> and so I have to, Girl, I have to heal from the emotional journey that that brand campaign took me on. And I don't know if I want to talk about it yet. So I might switch it up and do another. I got a few scripts already written. And so I might just pull from another video so that I don't have to relive that experience. And I know I want to tell the story because I feel like it would be something so good for YouTube for other content creators, for aspiring content creators, to, for anybody to just learn the lesson that I learned. That's my that's my goal, is to just teach a lesson because I don't want that to happen to anybody. And I don't even know if I did anything wrong. It was just the brand. So I gotta figure out how I'ma muster up some courage to, to tell that story. I might do it today since we already done pulled the band-aid off a little bit by thinking about it Sheesh. but anyway i need to give me a little snacky snack before i try to record another video because then i just start sounding like i'm hungry <laughs> i'll be back <laughs> The girls are watching a movie. They are babe. They might even be asleep, if I'm being honest. I got them in there watching Tarzan. But um, I'm about to take a shower. But I know when I take a shower, I know tomorrow my hair will not be this cute. And I don't think I caught it on camera. So this is so cute. It feels so good. I got it trimmed. I got those... The ends weren't that bad, but I did get them taken off. And then I had her blow dry it and just curl it. And it turned out so cute. I don't know how I'm gonna maintain this. Um, I really don't. I bought two flexi rods. I was thinking about just tying up one side or I don't know. We gonna figure it out though. And then tomorrow we just gonna cross our fingers and hope it looks good. But it's like 10.30, I'm about to take a shower. I'm about to get in the bed eat some pistachios, drink some water, and scroll on my phone, and that's it. Okay, bye. Okay, let's hope this looks good tomorrow. So she is combed out. She looks good combed out. She looks fluffy and shiny. Like, look at that, Portia. You did your thing, girl. It looks really good. Okay. You 
did y'all big one that might be as good as it get this is good That's gonna be ugly tomorrow. I can fill up. Morning. <laughs> okay, so I just came to take these rods down. We still got a little curl. Look at God. Y'all, did it work? have a crease right here so i gotta figure out how to fix that but the little flexi the two flexi rod system <clears throat> it actually worked i still got some body to it The cutest. They didn't look like much of anything sitting on the rack. But when I put these things on, so cute. Give me mom high waisted fit every single time. If I could not gatekeep one thing that I think everybody should know, it would be to learn how to dress your body. If you can figure out what feels really good it makes you feel good because you look good and just keep those in a heavy rotation do you know what that does for your confidence let's see if you look very with but that's mine for the squishy yeah okay. let me just tell you mm -hmm. No. She said no. She don't want to do it like that. So you just got to take your chances. Y'all ready? Okay. How about red or rock? How about you get rock? How she don't want to do that. You just have to whatever rock, color. Paper. paper. Hold on. Rock, rock paper, paper, scissors, scissors shoe. Got you again. Hot potato. Who hot has potato. the hot potato? potato. If you have the... the Y'all, I don't know how I feel about this. I walked up on Logan and Josie, and they were watching a YouTube video about how to be a YouTuber. And they're like four, and the kids in the YouTube video teaching them how to be YouTubers, they're not very old either. They're probably like seven, six, eight years old. Um, which brings me to my next point. Like, what? What? Our, we're teaching our kids how to be YouTubers. A little piece of me is like, go learn, experience it, do it, because it could definitely change your life. I'm, I'm just going to call it a hobby for now. I'm going to call it a hobby for myself until it praise me. But interesting how YouTube could be a hobby even for children. Y'all, let me know in the comments, like, what y'all think about this. Is it cool for kids to have YouTube channels? I mean, I guess it is cool because if y'all know anything about um, the Forbes list, a 10-year-old named Ryan made it, and he has, like, an $84 million platform. So I guess it is cool, but I don't know. I'm just having, like, this internal conflict of are we pushing our kids to be YouTubers? Um and then the inter part of the internal conflict is because it's what I kind of do for a living. So is this something that I would encourage Logan to do? And I haven't really answered that for myself. Okay, bye. Right. Good morning. Okay. Hit it outside. We got a special delivery. <laughs> 
There they are. We are redoing our office spaces. So we're doing another DIY home project. We're gonna redo the floors on our top level in both his office space and then my office slash loft space. So the floors have come in. And if you are familiar with this Texas heat, then you know that we've been under heat advisories. And so um, I am home alone at the moment. And hubby won't get off of work until later, later tonight. So I don't want to take any chances. So I am going to attempt to move all these boxes in by myself. I picked up one of the, the other boxes were really light. It was super easy for me to just get Logan to like, you know, grab one end of it and slide them in the garage. But these other, these, these big boxes, each one of them is 54 pounds and there's 22 of them. And so here I am just trying to get these boxes into my garage so the heat won't, I mean, I'm, they probably would be all right in the heat. I just don't want to take any chances because this is a, thousands of dollars worth of material so we're just gonna bring them in the garage and then Logan has asked me 50 11 times when we go into the pool so we're gonna go to the pool after this one thing I'm trying to be super intentional about is before I complain about the blessings that God has given me I want to make sure I'm utilizing them to the their max potential and that goes for our home um, we all know that you know it would be amazing to have like this beautiful, well lit, perfectly aesthetically pleasing mansion, but we don't all have that. And so you just got to have to make do with the things that you have and be a good steward over the things that you have. And God has blessed me with a roof over my head and I own it and I got a little equity in it and I got in at a good interest rate. So this is probably going to be a hopefully a property that stays in our family for a while. Um, even if later on down the line it becomes a rental property. But for now, I need to be making sure I'm using every inch of it. Um, and so, and I also want to love every inch of it. And so because I am one of those girlies that if I see it, I think I can do it. So we about to see if I can rip these floors up. Me and my husband, I'm not going to do it by myself. But we about to see if I can rip these floors up. Put down some nice floors, add some more pieces. Like, not only is this a fun DIY project, I think it's fun. I think all DIY projects are fun. But not only is it fun, but it also will add to the property value. So we're just um, chipping away at little house, home projects, DIY projects. And this was next on the list. This was actually the biggest thing on the list because we can't move forward with a lot of the other things that we want to do until we get these floors taken care of. I'm so sick of this carpet. But anyway, if you are not loving your space, I'm not telling you to rip up the carpet and lay down wood floors. But if you are not loving your space, then what are some ways that you can make your space a little bit better? Maybe it's just adding, you know, some greenery or a plant or painting a wall or ripping up your carpet or adding another piece of furniture or just changing the orientation of the room so it's more welcoming. So if you don't love your space, I am a uh, advocate for start with one corner at a time one room at a time and just start transforming your space until you absolutely love it and enjoy being in it so, so if you're into DIY things and being able to do home improvement on your own then you definitely want to subscribe because I'm going to be sharing all about the process and the finished results here on YouTube